So more legal eagle content. And I know that this is a pretty common tire to be used on ultralights now. But I actually didn't know anything about it until I saw it on Les Homan's ultralight. And they are pretty sweet. I mean, this is a big balloon tire. It's not very, not very lightweight. It's probably quite a bit heavier than the bicycle tires or the uh, BMX, BMX tires. I have those too, but uh, I don't know that I'll use them. We'll see what happens. But anyway, this center hub piece here I got from Hummel Aviation. It's for their Ultra Cruiser, and it's for 5 8 axle. Uh, I don't remember how much it costs for the set of them, but they're made for bicycle brakes. You can see this is a 160 millimeter disc that's bolted on there with the uh, bolts that came with the disc. This is not a very expensive disc. I don't remember where I got it from, but it's super cheap. So these, however, uh, I think are the most important part of this whole thing. They're brake calipers from what I believe is called a Bengal Strida. So if you get cable bicycle brakes, they're always going to be one way. They're, there's not a left and a right. But thankfully... Through a little bit of research, I found that these right here are mirror images of each other. Now, I saw these very brakes on a gentleman at Oshkosh in 2019. He had a little four-wheeled, battery-powered bicycle thing that he was riding around in, near uh, in Camp Scholar, near one of the shower houses or something, and I stopped and looked at it, and he was talking to somebody. had these on it. So I looked them up, found myself a pair on Amazon, bought them. I don't remember how much they cost, but I think they were maybe 40 bucks a piece or 25 or something like that. But anyway, your brackets can be mirror images of each other. It doesn't have to be that way, but it looks a lot nicer when everything is even. You don't have a cable going up one side and then up the other side on the other side, you know. So um, this hopefully will be lighter than the Black Max brakes. I have nothing against the Black Max brakes. Uh, I spoke to the gentleman that owns Black Max at length in, at Oshkosh. Several times I stopped and talked to him when he was having downtime or nobody was at the booth. And he's a very nice guy. He's got a great product. And a lot of people love their Black Max stuff. And I may end up using it. But for the meantime, I'm going to give this a try. And maybe I can make a, a lighter setup than the Black Max. And hopefully it will stop as well. I know people use bicycle brakes on the BMX tires, which are a little bit bigger around. But hopefully this will stop me just fine. I have a uh, a dual cable grip, like a handbrake thing. I don't have it handy, or, or else I'd show you, but I got it from Hummel Aviation as well. Two cables go up into it, and it has like a little balance beam thing that goes on the handle, and as you pull it, it pulls both cables equally. Uh, it's pretty nice. It was 20 bucks, I think, from Hummel. The only problem with it is it takes a 7 8 tube, and the Eagle has a 1-inch tube, so either... I bush the tube down or use a different handle or something, but I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. But that is the intended landing gear for my Legal Eagle. Pretty nice. Oh, those are Carlson, or I'm sorry, Carl Isle Turf, Turf Glide. Yes. Turf Glide, Carl Isle. They're uh, 8x6. And I don't remember how much their weight rating is, but it's plenty for Legal Eagle. Other people have done it too, so. I'm not I'm not getting into uh rare territory here. So anyway, 